Now, the marigolds is still, still pumping. Got some seeds, and I was told that some seeds may not grow because they were harvested. Maybe it may have been harvested too early. And this plant here, if you see this plant here, it is a weed. It looks nice, got nice little uh, black indentation on the, on the leaf, but it is a weed. So you see it, pull it. Uh, it's got some moss growing on it. I need to, I need to hold on to that though. Now, amongst this pot here, as you can see, what I have to do is I'm getting into some shade. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to trim out all this dead stuff and I still have some lettuce growing that's this here and this here should be my kale going straight up early on in the season the insects that were still alive just wreaked havoc on it never gave it a chance to actually grow what I'll do is I'll clean this pot out and let these three, one, two, and three, get them a chance to grow and keep the celery in the center. Let it go ahead and flower. Okay, got that all nice and cleaned out and straightened up. But I found out there's also some ants in here. Oh boy. You know, I actually seen and, and didn't believe it till I seen it. But there's actually people that have managed to get ants as pets. They actually have the colonies set up and they have the, uh, a tank, or like a terrarium, and they actually have ants as pets. So therefore, there's nothing that uh, eludes my imagination now for having a pet. There's pets all over. There's all types of pets, especially ants. I sure have enough uh, fire ants to put fire ants in the tank. Put it in the tank and watch them colonize and do what they do. All types of ants, all types of insects. I guess they all have their place. Oh, that's it. We got the uh, we got the kale, and we have the celery in the center. Now, most of my gardening plants that died or were dying went into here. And I'm going to do this here. Make sure it's well watered and produce some. And over here, I need to check on the potatoes. And yes, we do have some potatoes, the rustic potatoes. Probably more in there, but as you can see, we have the invaders, the fire ants. So, nice little harvest, nice potato. Rinse it off and eat it. 
I'll check for more. Some good dirt here. So that's all I have to in front of me right now. This beautiful little which tastes good in the belly. They say it should take the little ones and replant them. You need the big ones, but this is all I've seen so far.